What's up, guys? What's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Yak Pack Outdoors. And this, today, let me just start off by saying this. This episode is not uh, your typical Yak Pack Outdoors episode. Uh, it's actually Wednesday, and I never upload on Wednesday. We'll just, we'll call this video a, a Why Not Wednesday. Um, I usually upload Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. But anyways, the reason I'm making this video is because uh, I get asked all the time. And these are just a few examples from Instagram within the past 18 hours. Any advice on YouTube? I'm thinking about starting a channel. Where do I begin? How much money do you make on YouTube? Um, now, all this, the reason I'm making this video, all this is about to change. The old rules on YouTube to have uh, your channel monetized, to be able to make money, was to, um, you had to have 10,000 views total on your channel. No certain amount of subscribers, just that was it, 10,000 total views. And uh, I, I see where YouTube is coming from with the with the change they're making. Uh, the new change is going to be you have to have 4,000 watch hours in the past 12 months and 1,000 subscribers. Okay, now let me kind of defend that statement a little bit. I see where they're coming from because uh, anybody can grab and download off the internet something that's trending. Everybody knows we go through trends. Uh, you know, it, something will last for a week and then, you know, next week, next Monday, it's on to the next big thing. Uh, it, somebody will grab trending content. They'll upload it to YouTube, boom, they'll get a couple million views, they'll make a quick buck off of it. So, that in, in that aspect is good. Uh, another reason that I wanted to make this video for you guys is those questions that I get asked all the time, minus the how much money do you make, because I assure you, if you want to start YouTube for the money, uh, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. I started because it was a passion. Like, I love to fish, I love to film, and I love to edit. You put those three together and... <laughs> Just have a grand old time. But anyways, just if you feel like starting YouTube, do that. I highly, highly encourage you guys to do that. Because uh, one thing that this has been, uh, the whole YouTube journey has has been beneficial to me is, for example, like I get to record my kids sometimes. And everybody knows growing up, everybody around my age or so, uh, a little older, a little younger, we remember watching those VHS tape home movies of, you know, us when we were kids, you know, when we were five, six, seven years old. And uh, I get to incorporate my kids in videos a little bit, which I think is really cool because it's on YouTube, it's on the internet, it's there forever, it's there permanently. So I can go back and, you know, let's say when my little girl graduates high school or something, I can show her the videos that she was in when she was a year old, two years old, et cetera, et cetera, so on and so forth. But again, I, I highly encourage you guys to document your experience, like to tell your story. I, I'm a very huge believer in, in, in that kind of creativity. Uh, don't let that stray you away from starting a YouTube channel if that's what you really want to do. But uh, just know, like I said, uh, don't start YouTube for the money. Start it because you want to share your story. That is my best advice to you guys that asked that specific question. Uh, if you guys have any more questions concerning this topic, the video topic, or YouTube in general. Now, I'm not saying I'm a YouTube guru by any means. But I've put a lot of time in studying YouTube and, and trying to figure things out the best I could. So anyways, if you guys have any questions you want me to attempt to answer, just drop them down in the comments below and uh, I'll gladly, gladly answer them. So I was going to go over and read the, uh, the new YouTube terms and conditions, but uh, I'll go ahead and link that down below so you guys can take a look at it for yourself. Uh, you guys can kind of dissect it, uh, read it as you will. But in, in the overall scheme of things, like I said, uh, you used to only have to have 10,000 views on your channel to have it monetized. And monetized being a, means, monetized means being able to make money. Um, now you have to have a minimum of 4,000 watched hours in the past 12 months and 1,000 subs. That is the new minimum requirement to have the uh, AdSense or the uh, YouTube partnership program or whatever they call it nowadays uh, to be able to make money. But with all that being said, uh, I know this was a very random upload, a very random video. It has nothing to, to really, well, kind of stuff to do with fishing, I guess. Like, I, w I love seeing new people start channels. I love seeing other people's stories and other people's lives and just them documenting that. But again, that being said, thank you for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. Stay tuned. On Monday, episode number two of the Oklahoma mini series is coming out. If you are interested in watching that, it is it's awesome. I'm on the hunt right now to catch my first smallmouth bass and my first trout ever. Now, that may sound crazy to some of you guys up north that catch those all the time, but uh, never in my life have I caught a smallmouth or rainbow trout, and I am super, super excited to share that experience with you guys. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. 
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Let us earn your subscription. And with that being said, we'll catch y'all next time.